We all know that nitrite is toxic to aquatic organisms. It is toxic to both fish and shrimp. Nitrite reacts with hemoglobin and forms methemoglobin. Methemoglobin cannot transfer oxygen. We don't know the exact mechanism of nitrite toxicity in shrimp, but it was well established that it is toxic to the shrimp and it kills shrimp at high concentrations. Prolonged exposure to nitrite levels in juveniles causes black spots and mortality at the time of malting. There are instances of high nitrite level triggering RMS, running mortality syndrome in shrimp. It is a natural process that ammonia is oxidized to nitrite by ammonia oxidizing bacteria and nitrite is oxidized to nitrate by nitrite oxidizing bacteria. When it is a natural process, why nitrite is building up in aquatic environment? It is because of ammonia spikes. Ammonia spikes may be due to plankton die-off, overfeeding, turbidity and the ammonia in the source water. Ammonia is oxidized to nitrite by ammonia oxidizing bacteria. This bacteria is relatively stable than nitrite oxidizing bacteria. There is a lag time for nitrite oxidizing bacteria to develop, to build up. So in the meantime, nitrate levels increases. This nitrite oxidizing bacterial consortium is very sensitive, very sensitive to water quality fluctuations and slow acting. This bacteria, this nitrite oxidizing bacteria is sensitive to low dissolved oxygen levels, low alkalinity, high pH and it needs more space for the bacteria to colonize. That is why sometimes nitrite concentration reach toxic levels. How to treat nitrite in aquaculture? Earlier we were using salt. Salt application does not help in reducing nitrite levels. Instead, the chloride content of salt competes with nitrite. Chloride and nitrate enter into the blood with the same mechanism. By maintaining chloride to nitrite ratio at 20 is to 1, we can minimize the nitrite toxicity but it, the nitrate levels will not come down. Recently, scientists from ICAR SIBA, Central Institute of Brackish Water Aquaculture Chennai has developed a technology to produce ammonia and nitrate oxidizing bacteria in the lab and the technology was transferred to Alpha Biologicals in the year 2021. We at Alpha Biologicals has produced that product and conducted several trials and launched the product in Agri Business Summit 2022 this February. We have launched this product on the brand name of Nova Tan and given to Nova Chem Biosciences. For prevention, we can apply 2 liters every week and for treatment, we can go up to 5 liters per acre. Since it is a probiotic bacteria, the action is slow. It takes around 5 to 7 days to get desired results. For further details, you can mail us at novachembio at gmail.com or you can contact me on my WhatsApp number 9848 Thanks for watching. All the best.